request local notifications. Next, task completion. There are some apps that take a while to complete an operation, like Flickr. If you start uploading photos to Flickr, it takes a little while to do that. And until now, if you left the application while it was uploading the photos, it would stop. But with task completion, Flickr can continue to upload those photos in the background even after you've switched away from it or to another application. Our last service is fast app switching. Now this is probably the easiest for developers to adopt and probably the most important. Fast app switching is what allows an application when you're running it and switch away to store all of its state and move into a quiescent state in the background so it's not using any CPU at all. So let's say you go from tap tap to mail and then when you go back to that game or whatever the application is, it's instantly exactly where you left it. There's no need to launch the application. There's no need to restore the state, restore where you are in the game. Everything has been preserved and you're right back where you were. And these are our seven services for multitasking. They are very, very deep and provide a lot of power for developers to add multitasking to their apps. To go along with all of this, we have this incredible user interface to make it incredibly simple and fast for you to switch between applications. And that is multitasking, which is our first tent pole for iPhone OS 4. I'd like to hand it back to Steve. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. So our second tent pole. This is one where we've also gotten a lot of requests. Folders. As people are downloading more and more apps, they're having to flick from page to page to page to find them. They want to organize them. They want a better way to organize them and a better way to find them. And folders fit the bill. And uh, rather than talk about it, let me just show you what they look like. We came up with a really beautiful implementation of folders. So let me go to my second page over here full of apps. And I want to make a folder with games in it. I have several games. And it'd be nice if I could put them in one folder to keep them all together and make it real easy to find them. So what I do is I just push my finger on an app, just like I do to move it. They start to jiggle. And I just drag one app on top of another. And it instantly makes a folder. Right? Now, it also automatically names the folder based on the category that these apps came from from the App Store. I can rename it, anything I want, but if I don't want to bother, I just use the name that it intelligently selects. And that's folders right there. So let me put a few more apps in. I can just drag apps in there. And you can see the icon actually changes as I drag apps in. Right? So now I've got a folder with my games in it. And there they are. And I just tap on one to launch it. I can drag this around anywhere I want. Right? And I can have as many folders as I'd like. I can also even, uh, let me go ahead and uh, make space in the dock. I can even put a folder in the dock so that I have it. Now, wherever I am, whatever home page I'm on, I've got my games with me. Right? Really nice. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you, it's not really about folders, but it's about, the, uh, it's about the home screen, which is the ability to change the wallpaper. Um, it's really nice. So let me go into settings and wallpaper. And I've got a camera roll with some, some uh, uh, wallpaper on it. And I can just change it very easily. I can say, let's pick this one. I could set the home screen to this or the lock screen or both. So I'm going to just set both to that. And now you can see I've changed my wallpaper. Right, oops, sorry. And uh, again, you can see my folders right there. I can use multitasking to just go right back to settings exactly where I left. Uh, let's pick denim. There we go. And again, folders.
And right back where I left again. And uh, let me pick one more. So there you go. And that's how easy it all is. So that is folders. An incredibly great drag and drop UI with intelligent naming and you used to be able to keep, you used to be able to see 180 apps uh, in your phone over those 11 pages. If you replaced every one of those with a folder, it's now over 2,000. <laughs> so for the person that likes to download a lot of apps, we have a solution. So that is tentpole number two, folders. Now let's go to tentpole number three. Tentpole number three is an enhanced mail. We've added a lot of great features to mail, a lot of suggestions and requests from our users that we've been able to get into this new mail in iPhone OS 4. The first, unified inbox. Customers have really wanted this so that you can have multiple email accounts, say a mobile me one, a Yahoo one, an exchange one, and all the incoming mail will be put into one inbox. So you don't miss anything. And we've made it so you can have more than one exchange account as well, which has been another big request. So all of that in the new mail client, unified inbox. Now, if you want to focus on just one account, we've added fast inbox switching. So with just a few taps, you can move between one inbox or another if you just want to focus on one. In addition, we've added the ability to organize by thread. So you can follow email conversations and, dis conversations and discussions much easier. So as an example, we'll look at uh, the second message down. You'll see that it's got a three and a double chevron right there that says there's three messages inside there. And when we go in there, you'll see the three messages, the most recent one on top that hasn't been read yet. But you can follow that conversation all along with, by look, easily looking at the prior messages. They're all bundled in one place. Uh, organized by thread. And open attachments. The ability to get an attachment in email, tap on it, and open it with an app from the App Store. And this is really great. In this case, it's uh, OmniGraph, and I can just tap it, and it'll open with the app. So some new features in mail. There's lots more, but the biggest ones are the unified inbox with multiple exchange accounts, fast inbox switching, threaded messages, and you can open attachments with apps. Right. All right, so that is number three. Let's go to number four. For iPhone OS 4, we are adding iBooks. We have a great iBook reader for iPhone OS 4. This is what it looks like. The same bookshelf that we rolled out in the iPad and the same iBookstore, online bookstore. We're really excited about this. We've had a lot of, even just since rolling it out on the iPad, we've had so many requests to bring this to the iPhone. Of course, we were doing that. And it's just a great experience for reading. Um, that's what, uh, what it looks like on the iPhone. There's Winnie the Pooh. And so we think customers will really enjoy this on their iPhone, their iPod Touch. It's a delightful ebook reader with the iBookstore, online bookstore. You can buy your books once and read them anywhere. In other words, you can buy it for the iPad and you can transfer it on to your, uh, to your iPhone or vice versa. You just have to buy it once and you can read it on any of your devices. We're going to be wirelessly syncing your current page and bookmarks between devices automatically. And just like we do on the iPad, we're going to supply a free book. <laughs> and uh, we think uh, Winnie the Pooh is a good choice. You know, we, we labored over that with the iPad. What, what is the book that we could supply just to get people started uh, that, that, that we really felt great about? And, and Winnie the Pooh won. So that is iBooks, and it is our fourth tentpole. Now I'd like to turn it back over to